My final thought. Thousands of low-wage workers, faith leaders, and civil rights advocates descended on more than 30 state capitals and Washington, D.C. yesterday in a movement called the Poor People's Campaign. Now I'm here for it. Far too often, the voices of the poor go unheard, and taking the initiative to show up at lawmakers' front doors nationwide and demand action gives me hope that someday the lines separating the haves and the have-nots in America will be less pronounced. If they can ignore you, they've shown that they will. So it's up to you to make sure that they don't. Now the best way to create a more perfect union that the nation's forefathers wrote about would be to make a comfortable, dignified lifestyle more accessible to those on the bottom rung of society's ladder. If the base of any ladder is shaky, it's a real concern that the whole thing may fall over. Let's think of that analogy moving forward. Everyone deserves respect and access to opportunities to better their lives. Everyone. We're going to continue this conversation on Facebook. I'm on Facebook Live now. Happy birthday, Mom, by the way. This is